Hey everyone, this one's going to be a continuation of the last video where I'm getting this Game Boy prepped uh, for a screen kit and a shell swap. Uh, I'm not sure if or when last video is up, but we changed the power switch just to change it just because I had some. Um, couldn't really figure out what the issue was with this Game Boy, but it turns out that if you power cycle it quickly, it doesn't come back on. Um, but if you wait a few seconds, it will, and that's because a capacitor isn't draining properly, I think. What we're going to do today is recap it and try out Helder's power on fix, GBA power on fix. GBA on fix. Uh, so let's get started. Oh, it does turn back on. You just gotta give it some time. Anyways. You take out these screws. It's normally six tri-wing screws, but this one is missing because the screw post is broken. It's one reason why I won't be trying to rescue this shell, even though the glacier is definitely my favorite shell. And once you have all the tri wing screws out, switch to Phillips or JIS for this single screw in the battery compartment. And then separate the halves. And Two more Phillips screws in the board. And lastly, just want to release the LCD ribbon, push those tabs up, and you're good to lift the board. So what we're doing today is replacing these capacitors. We'll give it a test just to see if that's all it needed to fix the power cycle issue. Um, we're going to get zoomed in the microscope, but we're going to start with this big fella here and then move on to this one here. And then these two, lastly, these two are the same. Same size and stuff. Um, you'll notice if you get a replacement cap kit. Uh, I don't remember where I got these because I rebagged them. Um, you can get cap kits from Retro Game Repair Shop. Um, I think uh, Helder's Game Tech has them as well. Uh, there's plenty of places. Just uh, get a search. I'll put links in the description. Anyhow, what we'll be doing is um, we'll be using a low melt removal alloy. And this is good for if you don't have a heat gun like me, I don't have a heat gun. Uh, what this does is I will add it to the contacts on each side of the capacitor and feed it. And this has a super low melting point and it stays molten for an exceedingly long time. So once it alloys with the lead on the pads, I uh, just kind of skip back and forth a couple times. The component will lift. Uh, eventually on its own some people do uh, some people just snip these off i'm not gonna <laughs> but i've seen a lot of people do it it's fine we'll be using removal alloy let's start with the big one i'm gonna go ahead and flux every point for every cap 
just to get that out of the way. Just want to give it some time to get the heat in there. Get the heat in. And with that alloy, move the solder that's already on the pads. Move on to the next one. That one came off pretty quick. Uh, the smaller ones do come off a little easier most of the time. And lastly, we're going to do this one on the other side of the board. Then we'll come in with some solder braid and get these cleaned out. Clean the board up with a little isopropyl alcohol. Um, what I was doing there with what is that C56? I was just reflowing the side of that capacitor because I got some of the uh, low melt stuff on it, and you don't want that in your final product. Well, we might as well get started on this side of the board since we're here. This is the, the one that goes next to the audio jack and the audio wheel. Um, and it should be one of these smaller ones. About like that. 100 microfarad. 10 volts. And what you want to do with these... Um, I'm not sure the original values. Uh, it is, the original is 100 microfarads. Voltage, you want your replacements to be at least as much. It's okay if they're over, but at least as much. And the way these caps are oriented, you can kind of see 
the shape on the board. Well, the plastic under the cap has that same shape. Also, usually the ground side is marked uh, with a color, typically black. I've seen others. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tin the ground pad first. And then once we get it set into place, we'll get the positive side tacked in. Let's try that. That should do it. Solid connection. I'm going to clean the board up and see if it still works. And let's get it back together for a test spin. I'm not going to fully assemble it. I'm just going to reseat the ribbon. Slap the back on. Pop some batteries in. Okay. Turns on. That's good. I'm going to try to quickly power cycle it. Hey, just... Okay. It's working. Okay, cool. Wasn't doing that before. So it seems like just replacing the, you know, 22, 23-year-old capacitors was enough to fix the power cycle issue. However, since I have it, I still want to try this thing out. It's supposed to further help the issue by applying resistance to capacitor 2 and making sure it drains properly in between power cycles. So this goes to capacitor 2 and Q6. Q is a transistor, I believe. Well, that'll kind of fit down in there like that. That might do the trick. That is pretty close. Mm 
then this side was super easy. Okay. Let's get this thing back together and see if it still still works. Actually, while we're in here, I had meant to uh, meant to give everything a good scrub down. All these contacts and whatnot. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get the speaker seated. It's doubly tricky to film it. Okay. Still works, and now we should be able to power cycle it quickly. Yeah, okay. So that seems to have done the trick. Um, I want to see how the volume sounds. Quickly, just going to test the button input, see if they feel any better. Up, down, left, right. A, B, L, R, start, select. Okay, everyone, that's it for this one. Um, next time we see this Game Boy, I will be reshelling it to match my Game Boy Color. Uh, if you saw that video or not, uh, Check out my channel, it's there somewhere. Um, and we're also going to be upgrading this with a backlit um, ITA screen from Funny Playing. And my understanding is that screen is supposed to be very similar or possibly even a direct replacement for a DSi screen. So the color should be more Nintendo accurate. So I'm excited to see that. We'll get into that more uh, in the next video. Um, until next time, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something useful out of it. I'm going to get out of here, dudes.